In this video, we will learn all about pie charts. A pie chart is a type of graph that shows the relative sizes of data visually. A pie chart is made on a circle. And the reason it's called a pie chart is because with all of the pieces in there and the different data, it can sort of look like a pie. So let's look at an example of some data. Here are some data from a recent election. We have four students, A, B, C, or D, and we have the percent of votes that they received in the election. So student A got 30%, student B got 50%, and so on. So we could represent this with a pie chart, which would be a nice visual way to see how many more votes student B got compared to the others. So there's two ways you can think about making a pie chart. You can either make it with the hundredths disk method or the circle method, depending on whether you want to think in percents up to 100% for the whole circle or in degrees up to 360 degrees in the whole circle. So the circle on the left is broken into 100 different pieces. And so this would be the hundredths method and we could use the circle method for the other circle. So let's start with the hundredths method. We have student A got 30% of the votes. So we want to shade in or color in 30% of our circle for student A and label that with student A. So you want to pick a color and each of these big wedges is 10. So I can just take three of those. And this is 30% of the circle and therefore represents student A. Now I can go on to student B who got 50% of the votes. I want to pick another color and shade in 50% of the circle for student B. So remember 50% is half the circle or five of these wedges. And don't forget when you make a pie chart to label your different sections or it will have little meaning, or you can make a key off to the side too. Now we have student C got 15%, so that's a whole wedge plus a half of one. And finally, student D got 5%, so student D is this last part right here. Make sure that all your percentages add up to 100% or else your whole graph won't really make sense or your whole pie chart. And again, the nice thing about a pie chart is it's very visual and you can see from the pie chart how much bigger student B's area was compared to the others. Now, if you use the circle method, your result will be the same. It's just sort of an how you think about it. If you're thinking about it in terms of percentages or in terms of degrees. So if you wanted to do the circle method, you might start by thinking, okay, student B got 50%. So that's 180 degrees or half of the circle. And I might do them student B first and draw in a diameter and know that half of the circle, 180 degrees, is student B. And then for student A, which is 30%, you'd have to figure out how many degrees is 30% of a whole circle. So a whole circle is 360 degrees. And 30% of 360 is 108. So you would want to use a protractor to measure out 108 degrees of this circle. So maybe starting from this line right here, measure 108 degrees to figure out where the next line should go. So you have to have a protractor to be able to use that method. And this is student A. And then you would do the same thing for C and D. Okay, 15% of 360 degrees, that is 54 degrees. And you'd use your protractor to measure 54 degrees. And whatever is left should be the right thing for student D. So the circle method works if you have a protractor. If you don't, then sometimes it's easy to just eyeball it. Or if you have computer, that's an easy way to make sure it's actually completely accurate when you're making the pie chart. 
especially if you're dealing with percentages that are more than just 25% or 50% that are not too hard to sketch out yourself.